Park. It's going to be big Jake McNamara up against Matthew Harmon to start this one. And the umpire lets it go. Harmon wins it down convincingly. Whistle's being blown early. And it's going to be a West Preston Lakeside footy. And it's going to be Dreher in the middle of the ground. But though, bounce before Callaway. He's under the pump. Fennell comes in to offer support for Greensboro. Handballs to his defensive 50. Now they've got a get-out release. It's Billy Bedford. Underground ball to a target who slipped over. It's turned over. Tobin kicks inside 50 for the oh. uh, Roosters. It's fallen off the pack. And it's Ahmed Saad who sharks it and kicks the opening goal. And, well, for Greensboro, three men went up in that one. They were all the tall defenders. There. Yeah, tackled by Jake Rowe there. Last week played his first senior game since 2015. Good to see him back in this lineup. Greensboro have numbers from the stoppage. But Croxford ran into trouble there. Has to get rid of it. And he's pinged, holding the ball. Advantage to Vincent Torrio. And some fleet-footed work in the goal square. Gets around one and puts it through for the second goal of the afternoon. And West Preston Lakeside extend their lead. 2-3-15. The Roosters, Greensboro, two behind. Um, didn't really give Stelz an opportunity as the ball is up again. McNamara tried to Oof. get the tap. Oh, just pushing through there as well was Vincent Torrio was collected in that but they're still moving on West Preston was trying to get it through early an opportunity but it's a run down tackle it will be holding the ball brilliant tackle as well yeah Callaway and it was, it was Valeri that had the first option the handle didn't go and then yeah. once he didn't then he was always exactly. going to be in trouble with one of the fastest players in the competition running from behind and, and a 50, 50 meter penalty so seen a few of these three 50 meter penalties in the last six minutes of this game Second one to Greensboro, and with this, Callaway will be marched right to the goal square and surely here the opener for Greensboro. Well, hopefully we get some. We should get some voice mics out there because we might, might, not might be yeah, <laughs> we the might way they're going. A few of things out potentially. <laughs> Absolutely, but uh, it's Callaway then who shouldn't have too many problems. Sorry, Callaway, apologies. Pretty much right in front. That wind also almost taking it to a point, but it is a goal for Callaway and it is the first for Greensboro this afternoon. They move to one goal to eight. West Preston at 2 3 15. Uh, holds the ball aloft, and we're away. Second term action here from Greensboro War Memorial Park as the Rucks go out and Harmon got some real nice height there. Won it down nicely, but at the bottom of the pack, there was Greensboro men who have been stripped to the footy. Now Dreer kicks a high ball towards half forward. Alpha Kahani, the target, but he's got one of the toughest, toughest jobs in NFL footy, and that's taking a contested mark against Nick Riddle as Riddle got over the top nice and high and forces that one out of bounds to the far side of the ground. That's the beauty of the, the West Preston Lakeside defence. We've seen it stand up for so long. They just don't concede scores, but it's their ability to intercept mark. It's something like their, their last uh, last 12 games, average conceding of only 50 points. And at the moment, we're nearly halfway through the second term. They've only conceded eight. As Tickle marks in the middle of the ground. High ball now in hope more than anything. It's fallen to the back of the pack. Harovat bouncing balls there. It's a goal. Greensboro get one against the run of play. It's Nathan Harovat. His first goal in Greensboro colours and they get around him. And the Borough have two in a row, albeit with plenty of game time in between. They move to two goals, 2-14. West Preston, 2-6, 18. Ten minutes played, second term. Unfortunately, couldn't quite find the target for Greensboro. Clark's ball's a good one. It's really hard and low. Into the corridor to Tilly. Spreads a wide ball. Where are the flyers coming from? Big ball came from behind, but it's Tobin who takes it at ground level. Kicks wide into the pocket. Has he got a target? He has. Or is it out of bounds on the full? The umpires are going to meet and discuss this one. I reckon the mark's going to be paid. He looked to be just in, and it is paid. So on the far side, Malik Alpha Kahani. He's going to go quickly, and from the impossible angle, oh, oh, has wow. somehow put that one through for your goal of the day. And West Preston Lakeside extend back out to a 10-point lead. Three goals, 6-24. They lead Greensboro 2-2-14. And really able to get it cleanly. Greensboro, a quick hand ball over the top. This is Tickle on the boundary. Don't tell him he's going to oh. kick that one. It's a mark What's anyway mark? in the goal square. Brilliant from Jacob Island. Oh, that was a really big opportunity there from Tickle. His kick didn't really look like an opportunity to get a goal, but it was Jacob Island, a fantastic mark, running in as well. Fantastic. And he just pops it now in for a goal. So it's a second goal for the turn for Greensboro, and again cutting the margin back to four points. Numbers moving around. McNamara's gone deep inside 50. So too is Fisher. The pick's going to go McNamara's way, and he's taken it. A brilliant mark from Jake McNamara. A fantastic. He had two players on him, really, and he was just able to find some space, take a brilliant grab, um, and now he goes back for his first set shot of the afternoon. Well, he kicked two last week, and, and one of them was about oh, 50 metre kick from the pocket, so we know the distance shouldn't be an ab absolute issue at all for him. 
especially considering he's kicking it from 40 here. But it's what you want your ruckman to do. You either want him floating back, taking intercept marks, or pushing forward and being a real presence. It's not a, a really tall Greensboro forward line. He adds to that, and he can go back now and give him the lead for the first time today. Mara, 35 metres out. Looks pretty oh, good. He liked it as it came off the boot. And Greensboro get a goal back. So, like uh, Alpha Kahani, on debut last week, kick two. Aiming for his second in the opening half here. It's been a good start to his senior career. He comes in now, left foot kick. He just staggered his approach, didn't he? And he's short at Warren oh. Kassan, who has taken one of the marks of the year deep in the forward pocket. He rose high right next to the behind post and hold in an absolute screamer. Had a cider in the first quarter. That time there, he timed it much better. And he has taken one of the mark of the year contenders. Well, you knew it wouldn't be too long before he was able to stick one. We saw one in the first quarter. A big attempt just went a little bit early. This time he was not making a mistake. And he might even get the goal as he snaps around the corner. Oh, but it's hit the post. Man. That's the third poster of the afternoon in this match. And West Preston, another behind to add. 3 7 25 they are. One point trailers of Greensboro who are 4 2 26. A real letdown there for the home side. It's going to give West Preston an opportunity, you feel, inside 50 to get themselves the goal that will put them in front as we head towards half time. We're 27 minutes into this second term. The ball thrown up. Harmon had front spot, but he wasn't able to get the rub That's down. High. It's going to be oh, a free kick. It sure is. West Preston's way in. Spoke about that opportunity just a moment ago. It looks like they're going to get it. It was definitely high, that's for sure. Yeah, and it's going to go to Harmon. So Harmon, well, any score will put them in front. And we are getting close towards half time here with 27 and a half gone second term. Matty Harmon, who's been one of the more influential players out there today to give back the lead to the reigning premiers. Comes in now, shot on goal. is straight Beautiful. through the middle. And with that, West Preston Lakeside goes ahead by six points. They move to four goals, eight, 32, Greensboro, 4-2-26. As we saw the umpire, so he gets it on defensive 50. Releases Cataldo by hand, and now Cataldo kicks it to a one-on-one -on, -one on the far side. Jake Rowe did really well. Took a strong mark overhead, and now he can turn onto the left foot. He's got one-on-ones up ahead. Stalis is well suited in his, and Stalis got out the back and took a strong mark in the forward pocket. Didn't have to only beat his opponent, had to beat the sun there as well. You could see him was sort of guarding his eyes a little bit because of the sunlight. Didn't really know if it was going to be effective, but we know Stalis is, is a great mark of the football. And um, it was only a few years ago, he kicked the winner here for, um, for Greensboro, if you remember that one, Samuel. It's Heidelberg. It might have been against Heidelberg, yeah. yeah. So this is, well... It's a similar pocket to, or it's the same pocket rather, where Harmon kicked his goal, but this is a bit further out. Same angle, but probably has to kick it a, a good 10 metres or so more. So a chance, if he can convert, to get the scores all level. Stellis comes in now. It's a long approach. He's getting close to the man on the mark. He shoots a goal. It's coming back. Oh. It is a goal. Stellis kicks the goal, and it is Greensboro with first blood in this third term. 25 metres out from the West Preston goal. Ball up in the air. It's fallen to the ground level. Big tackle laid there by McNamara. Forced Urkelana to handball. Now hacked out of the air by Billy Bedford, but straight down the throat of Adam Valeri with Stalis standing the mark, 50 from goal. And now he's going to assess his options. Valeri, does he have the carry? Doesn't look too confident. The eyes, eyes are darting. He's going to chip it until he's got an all by himself. You wonder how that one happens. Aiden Tilly, the arguably best mark out in the ground, standing unopposed 25 or 30 metres out from his own goal. He's marked it. And I just like that from La Rossi. He just gets to him, just yeah. says, just calm it down, have the shot now. Good leadership there. And Aiden Tilly, well, you really want him to get on the, on the scoreboard because you yeah, feel he could be the one yeah. that breaks the game open if he can just get the kicking boots on. Three behinds. One on the full. Can this be the one that he gets through the big sticks? That's it looks better. all right, That's and it is going to be a goal. And look at the emotion on his face as he slots that one through the middle. But even though it's high, it stops the game at least dead, and it now yeah, forces it stops the floor. Yeah. Exactly right. It allows West Preston to get defenders back. So sometimes, I'm sure he would have preferred it to, to go his way, and, and he gets away with it. But at the same time, it stops that, that wave of running the Greensboro had. But Stellis, you know, he's a long kick of the footy. This one... He's going to be right in his range. The man yep. on the mark, 48 from goal. Yep, pretty much just about on that 50-metre line. Andrew Stales, he's already kicked a nice goal in this quarter. He can make it two very easily. Again, close to the man on the mark. The kick is high. It looks oh, all right. Yeah. I reckon he's got it. He That's has. Beautiful. Two goals in the turn for Andrew Stales and Greensboro also. 
get their second of the third quarter. That goes through for a behind, and for the third time this afternoon, scores are level at Greensboro War Memorial Park. 6-3, 39 to Greensboro at West Preston, a 5-9. Ooh, dangerous kick has been turned over. Falls to Rovat, left foot shot on goals there, and he kicks his second. And it, with that, they take their highest lead of the day, Greensboro, and it's one solitary kick. They are 7-3-45, West Preston 5-9-39. 39 West Preston Lakeside with 17 and a half minutes played in the third quarter. Thrown in, one in the ruck by Garrard convincingly to Horovat. His underground ball found a way to tickle, who kicks the ball towards forward 50 at Tumbler. Short and couldn't take a mark on a hard footy. McNamara was good at ground level for Greensboro. Got it out to Brindley, centering ball. There's a man all by himself. It looks like it might be that Ireland it is. He plays on, spreads it to Haynes, who can play on, and run into the open goal and slam through. Eight goal number eight for Greensboro for the afternoon. And they take a 13-point lead here, the Borough. There wasn't two hands on that one. And West Preston quickly moving out of half-back. And it's Penrith who just put on the afterburners. Handball over to Egan. Can they get them on the counter attack now? Egan, lovely ball, looking for Saad. This ball came from Bedford at the back. Saad goes again, did well, caused the turnover. Can he snap a goal? Ahmed Saad, brilliant. Brilliant work from Saad. Coast to coast play from West Preston Lake. So you'd argue it's their best chain of play, play of the day. And Saad puts through his second. He becomes their first multiple goal scorer. So big couple of minutes here before three-quarter time. At seven points, anyone's game. If you can open up to 13 on a low-scoring day, oh, it gives Greensboro a huge edge Wonderful. as Tickle somehow oh. from the pocket has kicked an absolute beauty. A right foot snap, made something of nothing. He is the X factor in this side, and he gives Greensboro that important goal we are talking about. I picked out the man in the middle, which was Bell, and you feel at the moment Greensboro might be content to hold the ball, but in fact, Bell turns around quickly, kicks it towards full forward. Ball slips through the defender's hands. A chancey McCubbin, standing start. He's done it. It's gone straight through the defender's hands. McCubbin rode the tackle, was spun back towards goal, and he put it straight through the middle to make it six goals for the turn for Greensboro and they're out to a game high lead of 19 points. McNamara and Harmon again it's McNamara that got the tap down he was more into clear space into a teammate as West Preston through Clark try to get the ball back inside their 50 they're able to eventually through Ercolano a quick kick not 15 called by the umpire a lot of numbers around this football still nobody's still able to get it clean it is quickly moved through Tobin Tobin's kick is for Saad Saad nearly was able to grab it he's going to get a free kick anyway and yes. advantage is there. Advantage was there. It's a magnificent goal for Matthew Vincent Toro. We've already seen him do it once in this game where he sensed the advantage was there and was quickly able to get the run to kick the goal. He's done exactly that in pretty much the same situation. Vincent Toro yeah. taking advantage of the football, running through to the open goal. West Preston desperately needing that one, you feel. It's their first score of the term, and now it's a chance though, to quickly reload off halfback, and that was Ethan Penrith who got it off the ground to Egan, and Egan just took on the game through the corridor. Look at the pace. Two bounces. He can now have a third. Has he run too far? He's just gone the measure but he was really composed he lowered the eyes and he found the man in McVeigh and guys that was a pretty similar play to what we saw in the third term when they kicked the goal late in the piece where it was Penrith with his pace to Egan again this time probably a bit different the roles reversed in terms of Egan being the one to show the dash and he had pace to burn to McVeigh who puts one straight through the middle and it is back to a six point contest here at Greensboro War Memorial Park right there, that's his brother in Valeri back. his kick is no good though but the mark was dropped by Bell a simple mark really he might ache it. no he's not going to get the free kick and the van is paid and he's Saad Saad finds the mark deep on the boundary line it's a very, very tight angle. You feel like he might have an opportunity. Yeah, we've seen good players from both sides make uh, uncharacteristic mistakes. We saw Jackson Clark nearly kick it straight down Stelter's throat, and then Tom Bell straight through his hands there, unopposed. And uh, on the turnover, the ball's worked up to Ahmed Saad, who shoots from a, a pretty tough spot here. But if anyone's good enough from here, oh, yeah. this could yeah. be the man. This is his <laughs> opportunity to get his side to scores level. Armand Sada with his deliberate approach. It's a very tight angle. It would take some fantastic work to make this a major. Saad comes in then. He gets the kick off. Looks all right. Looks more than all right. Armand Sada has kicked it and scores a level once again here at Greensboro War Memorial Park. Going to be called home in the ball. 
didn't figure out his prior, but it is the umpire that does give the decision to Greensboro. They're going to move it very quickly. It's a long and high ball inside 50. Brindley's the target. He flies, but there were West Preston numbers in front of him. Tickle's hand wasn't great, and it's West Preston that might move now through Penrith. Penrith's able to get the ball. He takes a bounce. He continues to run through the midfield. He's been brilliant. Penrith, he might have taken a step too far. He continues to go, but he's hand passed by straight to Coxford, who disposed of it incorrectly. And it's going to go back Greensboro, uh, West Preston's way, rather. Wow, what a great passage to play. Brilliant running through the corridor there from Penrith. He turned it over to Croxford, who in turn disposed of it incorrectly. Now West Preston have the chance to go inside 50. This is Al Fakani. Oh, I think he's going to back himself to shoot from here. The man on the mark's just inside 50. Any score would put his side in the lead. It is 66 apiece. 10-6 Greensboro plays 9-12 West Preston like so. Al Fakani. Coming in now, left foot shot on goal. It's not going to be a goal. Will it have the carry for a point? It does. And with that, West Preston Lakeside has the lead. He's got some options inside 50. What's he going to decide to do? Looks like he wants McNamara to move up forward, and that's the exact target he goes for. Harmon's there as well. A big fly as well. Oh, the ground! Oh. It's just gone for a behind and scores a level once again at Greensboro War Memorial Park. Whose boot did that one come off? I think that was sure. Fisher. It might have been Fisher indeed, Josh. So now we're right on 25 minutes now. 67 apiece. The ball 35 metres out from the Greens Regal. As Nick said, any score here could well win it. Or can West Preston take it the length of the ground? Stalis doing the ruck work, but it, he tapped it only as far as Federico. Kicks it to a dangerous spot at half forward. The edge of the centre square. The spoil went straight down to Tobin, who couldn't quite take it cleanly. The one who could was Jordan Smith. Gave it to Callaway. It's touched. It won't be a mark if Fennell takes it anyway. He didn't. Bell tried to crash through. Callaway, 35 metres out from the Greens for a goal. It's a bit like a rugby scrum. And we're going to have a ball up. Do calm minds prevail here? There couldn't be long left. We don't want to know how long left. We just want to play it out with the count-up clock as the ball is thrown up. McNamara, can he get a handball away? He couldn't quite. It bounced up to him. It bounced up to him, and we'll have a ball up. Still 35 metres out from the Greensboro goal. McNamara v Harmon. Harmon won it down. Tickle, can he get a kick away? He can. It edges 15 out. Can they tap it through here? It falls. Shot on goal. It's a goal to Greensboro. It's a goal to Greensboro through Fisher. 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 He's put it through. And with that, the Borough take a six-point lead. Greensboro are in front by six points, 11-7-73, West Preston 9-13-67. What do they do? Do they send men back? It looks like Brindley's playing loose man in defence for Greensboro. Back in the middle then, it's Harmon. I was able to get the hand pass over to Bell. Bell couldn't get his hand passes clean though. West Preston are going to try and move it through, through Federico. A really high ball, punched away from Callaway. The hand pass over the top to Cataldo. Now they're able to move at Greensboro through the wing, more towards half forward. It was a dropped mark from Clark, you feel like if he take, took that they would have had a chance to move forward ball's hit the deck with a lot of numbers around the stoppage and it'll be a throw in, a ball up rather 60 metres and out and you can see McNamara has gone forward for Greensboro has a massive height advantage on Valadares so what they've done, they've sent a tall forward they're going in with the more mobile ruck in these late stages here, so Garrard against Harmon, Harmon convincingly down it was straight to uh, Batula to do well to throw it on the boot, oh, but mark. an intercept mark's been taken, and it is Josh Callaway at half back. He can just soak up some time now, Callaway. He kicks a high ball towards attacking 50 for Greensboro, and a mark's oh, taken. A it's mark. Stalis. Stalis has marked. Will he take his time, or does he try to get it in quickly? No, he's taking his time. He wants the full 30 seconds. His experienced play. Any score from here now, and they've probably won the game, Greensboro. They lead by six. You feel he's going to play on. Playing on. And Stalis has kicked it into the hot spot. There's a lot of targets there. No one can really grab the mark. West Preston need to go end to end from here. They have the ball. They can't get it out clearly, though. A couple of handballs, and their oh, kick goes the out of bounds on the full. So Bell will take even more time off the clock. 45 from goal, hemmed up in the boundary line. Tom Bell, wouldn't this be a goal to seal it for the home side? The reigning Frank Rosbrook medalist. Such heartbreak for his side in 2019. He's going to play on and go more in broad. He's, he's, he's 
set shot for goal, just didn't quite make it. And an important behind now for Greensboro as they get a seven-point lead. 11 8 74, Greensboro, West Preston, 9 13 67. And they have to go through Penrith. He's already taken the bounce. Takes another. Did he get through the tackle? He does. He was brave. Gave it to Drea. Torpedo towards half forward. Sards viciously outnumbered. And it was Tom Brindley who has been superb in this game. He takes the intercept mark, and they're just now happy to take possession. He kicks backwards 15 metres to Cataldo. Greensboro, 74. West Preston, 67. 29 and a half minutes played in the final term as Cataldo kicks towards centre wing. Johnson flew. It fell to the front. West Preston have the numbers. La Rossi, short ball to Daniel Valeri. He's too far out to score. Saad presents. He puts it towards him. A great spoil from Bedford. Gets the floating football out of bounds. It's 35 metres out from the West Preston goal, but they have to score twice to win or to tie this one here, trailing by seven points. You feel like it's very difficult now as we approach 30 minutes into this last term. It's a lead for seven points for Greensboro. It's a free kick. Is it going to go West Preston's way? It does. West Preston are having an opportunity now to get that ball through the big sticks and maybe, maybe... Just a slight opportunity for them to get Harman. the goal. It's Harmon Harman. now. He's going to have to move very, very quickly, you feel. Will he even have the shot? He's, he's, he's quickened his approach, you feel. Harmon now. He's coming 40 metres out. The kick looks okay. I reckon it's got there. It has. It's a goal. But the siren's gone out. Oh. It doesn't matter. Greensboro prevailed by the simplest, the single margin. One point victors for the home side. What a remarkable game of football we have seen here at Greensboro War Memorial Park. Full time, and it is the borough that get the win 